Good morning, my friends. Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm going to try to get this shared out on my page, my personal page real quick. As you're coming on, if there is any pages you can share with or on your own page, if you wish, I really, really appreciate that. So let's see here. Let's see if I can get this done today. Ah, how's everybody? It's a Monday again. There we go. Share. Monday again. Share comes around fast, doesn't it? <laughs> Is it just me? <laughs> Feels like it comes around fast. Okay, we're all shared out. So welcome. This is Reiki Live. My name is Carrie Wade, and I am an Asui Reiki Master Teacher, as well as a Holy Fire Reiki Master and a Karuna Reiki Practitioner. Um, I do some other fun energy work stuff as well. And uh, But the main purpose of this video, every Monday morning I come on live to send you some Reiki energy. So join me for a cup of coffee. I love this new coffee cup. You see this? My mama got to me this for my birthday. And what I love is like right inside that I see every time I take a sip, it says love always. It's engraved in the side. Isn't that beautiful? She got it at like Ross or something. Hi, you've missed these. Hi, Kim. Welcome back. Yeah, I didn't come on last week. Um, the week before I'd had a peel on my face. And last weekend is like when it was really looking crunchy, like fried chicken. <laughs> it looked really awful. So I thought, I think I'll skip this week. So nobody needs to have that horror of a sight. It's better now. It's still, it's still flaking. I didn't put any makeup on. I'm afraid to put on makeup because I'm afraid it's really going to show the little flakiness. So anyway, it is what it is. You get what you get, right? At least I'm clean and my teeth have been brushed. <laughs> It's pretty damn good for a Monday morning. So, mm, if you are on my email list, um, make sure you watch the quick video that I sent out on Saturday. And uh, there are a couple of specials in there. And there are some changes to my 12-week program, the Who the Bleep Am I program, that I think you're really going to like. And I would be happy to share those with you if you want to uh, reach out to me and we can set up a time to talk and I can share that with you. But we're going to be adding some new components to the program, including weekly live group Zoom meetings on Saturday mornings. In addition to the 12 modules that get emailed to you um, and the one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions that we have during that. So it's an add-on to that program and uh, I am offering a special on it for the first round which starts in January and it starts January uh, January 7th is the first live Zoom meeting but you will get your first module uh, that Monday before so if you're interested in that please reach out it's a great time to jump into that program I will be offering it three times next year but only the January group will get the special discount, okay? So there's that. Today we're gonna to do a little cloud meditation with our Reiki. Oh God, I love coffee. I'm sorry, I love coffee. And so all you have to do is set your intention to receive. And I am going to set my intention to send you this energy it knows where to go. The Reiki energy knows where to go uh, that will best serve you. Although if you have an intention that you want to set, I invite you to do that as well. So um, yeah, we're just going to do a little meditation. Kim, are you the only one on here so far? That's what it looks like to me. So well, that's okay. That's okay. We'll just give it a couple of minutes here and uh, see who else wants to jump on and join us. Otherwise, this can be watched as a repeat. I set the intention that the Reiki is going to come to you whenever you watch this. And of course, you can all, always enjoy the meditation at your convenience. So, um, there was something else I wanted to cover. Oh, that I am going to be going out of town this week and um, I will be gone from this Friday 
through December 5th. I fly back late on December 5th. I do still have a couple of in-person schedule uh, appointments on my schedule that are available on Wednesday of this week. And then that will be it until like the 7th of December. But I will be doing remote sessions. So um, there's always that. If you want a remote Reiki session, um, I've got a great package of five Reiki sessions that are remote for 380 bucks, which is a stinking steal. It's a really good buy. And uh, I also do coaching and emotion code and uh, we can even do hypnotherapy or yoga nidra by remote sessions. So anyway, well, we're going to get started on our meditation this morning. And I'm just going to read you this little bit from, um, this is from the Daily Om. If you aren't signed up for Daily Om, go to that website and sign up for their emails because they really are beautiful. Five days a week, it's all a great little, um, just a little short discussion on something. Um, on the weekends, you will also receive emails for them. They're on some of the classes that they offer. I've done a couple of the classes and they're good. They're good and they're very affordable. So anyway, check out dailyom.com, O-M, daily Om. But this week's was called Cloud Meditation. Actually, this is one that came out last week. And so I'm, I'm going to just read what they wrote here before we start the actual meditation. Sometimes we can get so wrapped up in our thoughts that we wind up going around and around in circles, finding it difficult to concentrate on things. And because we are so distracted, not really accomplishing much, there may be signals, mental, emotional, or physical, that tell us we need to slow down and relax. Amen. Since we are so involved in things that are external to us, however, we may easily overlook what is really going on inside of us. It is during these times that we need to step back from the things that occupy our minds and take a moment to connect with our inner self, giving our minds, bodies, and spirits the time that they need to re-energize and heal. At first, it may seem that by taking a break, we may not be as productive as we would initially like. In reality, a healthy period of rest is something that gives us a real sense of the unlimited nature of our true potential. Spending a couple of minutes walking outside, doing a few yoga poses, meditating, or simply becoming attuned to the rising and falling of our breaths enables us to let go of our worries. This act brings our focus back to the things that are truly essential for us, such as our sense of oneness with the universe and our inner peace and well-being. As we begin to get in touch with this part of ourselves, we find that our usual everyday troubles and worries become less critical and that we only have much more room in our lives. We not only have much more room in our lives to really reflect on the issues that mean the most to us, but we also are able to bring a much more positive and healthy outlook to the rest of our lives. Giving ourselves respite from our daily concerns is like giving a gift to ourselves. It's called filling your own cup by stepping away from the problems that seem to saturate our thoughts, we lessen the weight of our troubles and instead become more receptive to the wisdom and the answers that the universe has for us. So I love that because it's something that honestly we need to do every single day. And I'm starting the Reiki now, by the way. Something we need to do every day Just taking that little bit of time out for ourselves to check out, just check out. And doing this little meditation is something that you can guide yourself through. It's a very simple, simple meditation. And it's something that you can do whenever you're feeling like you need a pause in life. Um, it's something I believe you should do every day. And whether it's for five minutes 
or it's for 30 minutes, that's up to you. Or if you're a professional meditator, you're really good at it, you've been practicing for a long time, that might be an hour meditation. And I think that's fantastic. I know a lot of people that can meditate that long. For me, typically it's anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. That's about, uh, that's about my attention span, what I can do, okay? But even five minutes a day, and this is, this is so simple. So, as we're enjoying the Reiki energy, just again, set your intention to receive it. And my intention is set to, for you to receive this anytime you watch the videos, okay? So what I'd like to invite you to do is just to check in with your breath. Closing the eyes. Taking in a deep breath. And releasing it. Every breath in fills you with energy. Every breath out helps you release. As you breathe, allow the mind to calm. Let the chatter quiet. Just stepping into that space of awareness behind the mind. So as you lie or sit here, just checking with your breath Letting the breath breathe itself. Feeling into that heart space. That true compass in our body. I want you to begin to visualize a cloud in the sky. Just a single cloud. Let your vision be as clear as possible. Beautiful blue sky. A beautiful cloud. It could be big, it can be small, it can be really white. Or it may have some tinges of gray and more wispy. Just be with that cloud. And I want you to allow yourself just to drift through the sky with this cloud. You can do that by either just watching it, watching it as it moves, maybe it changes form a little bit, maybe get bigger or smaller. Maybe you're sitting on top of the cloud and drifting with it and relaxing in it. You could even become the cloud. Resting as the cloud in the beautiful blue sky. Letting go of all other thoughts Nothing to do, nowhere to be. Just 
feeling yourself in that fully relaxed state. Feeling the quietness in your mind, the softness of your heartbeat, the smoothness of your breath. The rhythmic breathing of your heart as you watch the cloud, as you float on the cloud, or as you are the cloud. This is all there is to do. If you have an intention, just release that intention now to the universe, knowing that in surrendering it, it is done. Just turn it over. Again, nothing to do. Nothing you have to be. The only thing on your mind is your cloud. Drifting. Floating, weightless, pure. of healing, of fulfillment, your heart is full of love. Full of contentment. Being one with the source energy. Feeling the deepness of your connection to source, to Mother Earth. To all humanity. Staying present with your cloud.
feeling the peace and the calm that being in this present moment brings you. You're not worrying about what's going to happen later. You're not reliving yesterday. You are right here, right now, in this moment. Being present to yourself, to your source. Feeling the oneness. knowing that you can return here again and again anytime you wish. Perhaps you even want to set an intention for yourself to bring yourself into this space every single day for at least five minutes. giving thanks to your cloud. Giving thanks to this beautiful piece of nature that has brought you the peace, the calm, the solace, the beauty that you are craving. slowly begin to bring your awareness back Lisa. Um, to answer your question, Reiki is always done by permission. Okay. Uh, we don't force it on anyone. What I do when somebody asks me to send Reiki to somebody else, um, maybe they're not somebody that can consent. They may be ill. Um, whatever the case may be, they may not be like open to it in the moment. I can send the Reiki with the intent that it go to a person if their higher self is open to receiving it. And if their higher self is not open to receiving it, I ask that this healing go to wherever it needs to be with, um, kind of like I project it like into a Reiki cloud is basically what that looks like for me. And whoever needs to tap into that cloud can tap into that cloud. I ask it to go to all humankind, um, not just humans, but it can also go to the earth. It can go to source energy wherever it needs to go. If that person who I'd like to send it to is not willing to accept it. 
So I hope that answers your question. Yes, we can definitely send our intention to send the Reiki to somebody. But if they're not open to receiving it, then um, we ask that it just it go to where it is, or to a person or to a being or to a place or a thing or a feeling or whatever it is that would be willing to accept it. So I hope that makes sense. It is intention based. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I don't know if I can see if there's sometimes comments don't show. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to bring the Reiki for now to a close. Again, I set the intention that anytime you want to receive Reiki, you can watch this video. It will come through to you whenever you watch, just by setting your intention to receive, okay? So, thank you for being here. I hope you guys have a great week. It's a good way to start your Monday off. I will be back next Monday. I will be coming from you to you from Idaho. And I'll probably be in my long johns and um, trying to stay as warm as possible because it's going to be really cold up there compared to Arizona. Thanks for being here, Kim. Thanks for being here, Lisa. I don't know who else is on. So uh, thank you for sharing this out. Also, if you have any groups that you belong to that you can share it that allow that or on your personal page, invite your friends and family to come and join us on Mondays for Reiki. And uh, have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful week. We're counting down to the holidays. And uh, so take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. And again, I will be doing remote sessions while I am in Idaho. Um, I have a couple of sessions left in person on this Wednesday for local people. And um, reach out if you're interested in that special for the coaching group that is starting in January. Okay? I love you guys. CarrieWade.com is my website, or there's a link here on my Facebook page. I send you peace and blessings for a wonderful week ahead. See you next week.